Earth. Earth is the only planet where life has been definitively confirmed. It supports a vast range of life forms, from single-celled microbes to complex multicellular organisms, including plants, animals, and humans. Life here depends on a combination of stable liquid water, a protective atmosphere, a magnetic field that shields against solar radiation, and a geologically active interior that recycles essential elements. Earth's atmosphere is composed of 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and trace gases like carbon dioxide and methane, many of which are biological byproducts. The planet's distance from the sun places it in the so-called habitable zone, allowing water to remain liquid on the surface, a critical condition for known life. Earth's biosphere extends from the deepest ocean trenches to the upper atmosphere, with extremophiles even thriving in boiling hot springs, frozen tundras, and acidic lakes, proving life's adaptability across extreme environments. Mars Mars has long been a target in the search for extraterrestrial life due to its Earth-like characteristics in the distant past. Geological and chemical evidence suggests that ancient Mars had liquid water on its surface, a thicker atmosphere, and a more stable climate. Orbital observations and rover missions, such as NASA's Curiosity and Perseverance, have identified clay minerals, sulfate deposits, and sedimentary structures, features typically associated with aqueous environments on Earth. In 1996, scientists reported possible microfossils in a Martian meteorite known as ALH-84001. Though still debated, this sparked renewed interest in Martian biology. Recent findings include seasonal methane spikes in the atmosphere and complex organic molecules in Martian soil. Methane can be produced by geological processes, but on Earth, most methane originates from biological sources, making it a potential biosignature. Additionally, radar data from the European Space Agency's Mars Express suggests the presence of liquid water beneath the planet's south polar ice cap. If microbial life still exists on Mars, it would most likely be found in subsurface aquifers or briny liquid pockets protected from surface radiation. Europa Europa, one of Jupiter's largest moons, is considered one of the most promising places to find extraterrestrial life in our solar system. Beneath its thick layer of ice, which may be 15 to 25 kilometers thick, lies a vast subsurface ocean that could be more than twice the volume of all Earth's oceans combined. This ocean is kept in a liquid state by tidal flexing. Gravitational interactions with Jupiter generate internal heat through friction, preventing the ocean from freezing solid. Spectroscopic analyses from the Hubble Space Telescope have detected plumes of water vapor erupting from Europa's surface, providing indirect access to its hidden ocean. These plumes may carry material from the subsurface up through the cracks in the ice shell, offering a potential sampling target for future missions. Importantly, Europa's ocean is believed to be in contact with a rocky seafloor, where hydrothermal vents could exist. On Earth, similar environments host rich ecosystems entirely independent of sunlight, sustained by chemosynthesis. If similar conditions exist on Europa, microbial life could potentially arise or survive in that alien oceanic environment. NASA's upcoming Europa Clipper mission, scheduled to launch in the 2030s, aims to investigate these possibilities more directly by performing detailed flybys to analyze the Moon's ice crust, subsurface structure, and potential biosignatures. Enceladus. Enceladus, a small icy moon of Saturn, has emerged as a leading contender in the search for extraterrestrial life due to the discovery of active cryovolcanism. In 2005, NASA's Cassini spacecraft observed geyser-like plumes erupting from Enceladus's south pole. These plumes consist of water vapor, ice particles, and a range of organic compounds, and they originate from a global subsurface ocean beneath the moon's icy crust. Analysis of the plumes by Cassini's instruments confirmed the presence of molecular hydrogen, H2, carbon dioxide, CO2, methane, CH4, and complex organic molecules, key ingredients for life as we know it. Molecular hydrogen is especially important because it could serve as an energy source for microbial life through methanogenesis, a metabolic process that occurs near hydrothermal vents on Earth. 
The interior of Enceladus is thought to host hydrothermal activity at the boundary between its rocky core and ocean, creating a potentially habitable environment similar to Earth's deep ocean vent ecosystems. This sets the stage for life to exist even in the absence of sunlight. Unlike Europa, Enceladus's plumes vent directly into space, providing an opportunity to sample its subsurface ocean without drilling through kilometers of ice. Future missions such as a dedicated life detection probe could analyze these plumes for biomarkers like amino acids or even microbial cells. Titan Titan, Saturn's largest moon, presents a unique environment for exploring non-Earth-like forms of life. It is the only moon in the solar system with a dense atmosphere, composed primarily of nitrogen with small amounts of methane and hydrogen. Surface temperatures hover around minus 179 degrees Celsius, minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit, making water rock solid. However, Titan has stable bodies of liquid on its surface, not water, but lakes and rivers of methane and ethane. The Cassini-Huygens mission revealed that Titan has a hydrological cycle similar to Earth's, with methane rain, river channels, and seas. Beneath this surface lies a presumed internal ocean of liquid water mixed with ammonia, which acts as an antifreeze. This subsurface ocean could potentially support microbial life more familiar to Earth. On the surface, the chemistry is entirely alien. Titan's thick atmosphere and sunlight trigger complex organic reactions, forming hydrocarbons like ethane, acetylene, and possibly prebiotic molecules. Laboratory simulations of Titan's atmospheric chemistry have shown that amino acid precursors and other building blocks of life can form under these conditions. Although life as we know it depends on liquid water, scientists have theorized the possibility of methane-based life, organisms that might metabolize hydrogen and acetylene using methane as a solvent. Such life would be radically different but chemically plausible, representing a second genesis distinct from Earth biology. NASA's Dragonfly mission, a nuclear-powered rotorcraft scheduled for launch in 2028, will explore Titan's surface to investigate its organic chemistry and search for potential biosignatures. Venus Venus, long considered inhospitable due to its extreme surface conditions, temperatures over 460 degrees Celsius, 860 degrees Fahrenheit, and crushing atmospheric pressure, has recently regained scientific interest as a possible site for microbial life. While the surface is hostile to life as we know it, the upper cloud layers, around 50 to 60 kilometers above the surface, offer a more temperate environment with temperatures between 30 degrees Celsius and 60 degrees Celsius and pressures similar to Earth's surface. In 2020, researchers reported the detection of phosphine gas PH3 in Venus's upper atmosphere, a compound that on Earth is primarily associated with microbial metabolism in anaerobic environments. Phosphine is not known to form easily through non-biological processes under Venus-like conditions, leading to speculation about possible life in the clouds. However, this detection has been hotly debated, with some follow-up studies suggesting the signal may have been a misinterpretation of sulfur dioxide. Even so, Venus's cloud decks contain droplets of concentrated sulfuric acid, which would be extremely corrosive to most known life. But theoretical models propose that extremophilic organisms, if they exist, could use protective shells or specialized chemistry to survive in acidic aerosols. On Earth, certain acidophiles can survive in pH levels close to zero. Upcoming missions such as NASA's Veritas, ESA's Envision, and private proposals like Rocket Lab's Photon Probe may help determine the atmospheric composition with greater precision and resolve whether Venus's clouds harbor exotic microbial ecosystems. Proxima b Proxima b is an exoplanet orbiting Proxima Centauri, the closest known star to the Sun at just 4.24 light-years away. Discovered in 2016, Proxima b lies within the star's habitable zone, the region where temperatures could allow liquid water to exist on the planet's surface. It has a minimum mass of 1.17 Earth masses and orbits its host star every 11.2 Earth days. Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf star, which emits far less energy than the Sun but has a longer lifespan. Proxima b's close orbit means it receives a comparable amount of stellar energy to what Earth receives from the Sun. However, red dwarfs are known for frequent stellar flares and high ultraviolet radiation, 
which could strip planetary atmospheres or inhibit surface life. Despite these challenges, Proxima b remains one of the top exoplanet candidates for potential life because of its proximity, Earth-like mass, and location within the habitable zone. If the planet has a protective magnetic field and a thick atmosphere, it could shield life from harmful radiation and support stable surface conditions. Alternatively, life could exist below ground or beneath an ocean, shielded from harsh space weather. Next-generation observatories such as the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, and the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, aim to probe exoplanet atmospheres for biosignature gases like oxygen, methane, or ozone that could suggest biological processes. TRAPPIST-1 The TRAPPIST-1 system, located about 39 light-years away in the constellation Aquarius, contains seven Earth-sized exoplanets orbiting a cool red dwarf star. Among them, planets E, F, and G lie within or near the star's habitable zone. These planets are of particular interest because they are similar in size and mass to Earth, and their orbits allow for the possibility of stable, temperate climates where liquid water could exist. TRAPPIST-1e is considered the most Earth-like in terms of density and likely has a rocky composition. It receives slightly less stellar energy than Earth, making it a strong candidate for temperate surface conditions. TRAPPIST-1f and G orbit farther out and may require thicker atmospheres or greenhouse effects to maintain liquid water, but their sizes and compositions suggest they could retain such atmospheres. The compact nature of the TRAPPIST-1 system allows astronomers to observe multiple planetary transits and interactions, offering detailed information about their atmospheres, if present. Recent observations using the Hubble Space Telescope have ruled out large hydrogen-dominated atmospheres, increasing the likelihood of denser terrestrial-like environments. If these planets possess liquid water, organic chemistry, and energy sources, they could support microbial or even complex life. The JWST and other future missions are expected to analyze the transmission spectra of these planets as they transit their star, searching for biosignatures such as oxygen, methane, or carbon dioxide in their atmospheres.